Hello, Kijiji. My name is John, and this is the Frenchton Connection. We have two lovely Frenchton puppies available. This is Tiamos. She's ten and a half weeks old, and so is her brother, Jet, over there, chewing on the carpet. Here's Minnie, the mom. She's a three-quarter Frenchton. She means three-quarter French Bulldog, quarter Boston Terrier. Mom was a purebred blue fawn Frenchie, and Dad was a 50-50 brown, big brown brindled Frenchton. So these puppies are about a 65-35 split. I call it 60-40. This is Zoj, Zoe, Zo. She's a reverse chocolate brindle, 19 months. And she's just playing with Tiamos right now. My friend, she just adores these pups and just loves playing with them. There's Heidi with Mickey the dad. Mickey. Mickey is chewing on a bone right now, and he's a black dog on black, so come here, Mick. What a good boy. Mick, Mick, sit down. Hey, Mickey. Yeah. Do you want this bone? What a good boy you are. A Mick Mouse. Sometimes I call him the dude, because he reminds me of the big Lombowski. He's just so chill and so easygoing. He's uh, submissive. Heidi is submissive as well. She's another two-year-old Frenchton, 50-50 that I own. And Mickey and Minnie, sorry, Mickey and Heidi did have a litter together last year. They had five gorgeous puppies and all had stand-up ears. You may have noted that Mickey is a down-ear Frenchton. It's a recessive gene so far this year, four out of the seven pups' ears have stood already, and those puppies were rehomed a little while ago. Anywhere from two weeks to two days ago, they uh, just left. Some of them were bought and purchased before their ears stood, and it was just uh, kind of luck of the draw. They were the ones that stood a bit earlier. This is Jet. She had a twin that left yesterday. She was an all-black female, and they named her Frankie. She was just so precious. Jet is a happy-go-lucky little guy. He's always getting into my carpet here and eating things he shouldn't. So I'm just trying to keep that carpet down. Tiamos is a biter. She really likes sinking her teeth into your pant legs. I have my dogs and puppies on a grain-free diet. It is a local dog food made in Rostern. And it is called Horizon Pulsar. Pulses and fish formula, grain-free. has a about eight natural probiotics in it and I have never found a better dog food. Salmon meal, red lentils, peas, pea starch, salmon, salmon oil, flaxseed, carrots, apples, broccoli, bok choy, cabbage, blueberries. Um, there's just a whole bunch of probiotics here, fermentation extracts. So I'm going to skip a little bit. Pineapple, more fermentation extracts and more probiotics. Acidophilus. Vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E supplement, vitamin B12, riboflavin, niacin, folic acid, decalcium. Source of vitamin C, iron, proteinate, zinc sulfate, zinc proteinate. Magnesium oxide, magnesium protonate, copper sulfate, copper protonate, calcium, selenium, magnesium. So it's just a wonderful all life stages dog food. And with all those natural probiotics in there and all the salmon oil, 
my dogs are very, very healthy. Their coats shine and glisten. Um, it's a very dry environment in here in the winter. Uh, normally they're outside during the spring, summer, and fall for about 16 hours a day in their doggy playland in the backyard. Um, but it's winter and these breeds, uh, being short hair uh, and big sucks, they don't like being out in e extreme cold or extreme hot weather. So I've got them downstairs in my sub-basement and this is just another little doggy playland that I got set up with tons of bones, toys, they love golf balls, deer antlers. They whittle down my deer antlers like you wouldn't believe. My vet says that these dogs have zero plaque because they seem to be chewing so much. So that's a, a very good thing. Minnie's been an excellent mum. Mickey does interact with the pups a little bit, but yeah, he's the dude. He's over there just chewing on a bone and he really couldn't care less about these little pup tards right now. Hey, hey, don't be chewing on that rug and tearing it apart. Hey, you little bugger. This is Jet. He he really is um, a little happy-go-lucky little dude. Look at that tail wagon. Hey, hey, you're a little star. Oh, and there's Tiamos. I called her Tiamos. It's Spanish for I love you. These pups, these Frenchton pups, are ten and a half weeks old. They're ready to go to their forever homes right now. Please don't hesitate to contact me. My home and my... My operation is open to all. I have nothing to hide. Um, I have a mobile vet that comes uh, and sees the pups and my, my dogs. And uh, she has nothing but good things to say. You may contact her um, with my consent. And she can let you know about my practices and all the good things that she has seen and noticed. This is one litter that you don't want to miss out on. This is Mickey and Minnie's first litter. And um, they, they make gorgeous puppies. We noticed that with Mickey and Heidi last year. They just made such wonderful pups. Uh, three were sold locally and two went down south. This year we've had uh, Three sold locally, two down south, and one went to a Frenchton breeder in Grand Prairie because she was so impressed with um, what's going on here. Be nice, Zoge. Yeah, be nice. Be nice. You can't just bowl those pups over, you bulldog. Typical bully. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to make a short video here, and we're eight minutes in, but time flies when you're having fun. I just want to share my passion with these crosses. I love the two, the two breeds, the Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog. And um, when I discovered the Frenchtons, well, I, I bought three. And um, I'm slowly but surely on my way to becoming a French, Frenchy breeder, French Bulldog breeder. But in due time, if you want a well-socialized pup and a family-oriented dog, these are the puppies and the type of dogs for you. My name is John, and I'm happy to present Mickey and Minnie's first litter this year. Uh, we have two left, a male and a female, both with black and white markings. And you're not going to want to miss out on Mickey and Minnie's litter this year. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the, um, the wonderful business. Um, the questions and comments, all the inquiries that I fielded. Um, thank you very much. This is an honor to serve you. It's all about sharing my passion with the cross. And uh, hopefully one day I can become a French bulldog breeder as well. And the idea is to uh, become one of the better breeders here in Saskatchewan. Uh, I want to be notorious with having some of the best and better genetics. And I'd like to make my puppies more available and a lot more affordable as well in the future. So that's what you'll be supporting. Uh, my dogs are raised on in pretty much all loving environment. They're pet, pets first. And uh, we do supplement with some of our garden produce. They get a lot of beef bones, beef liver, some wild meat. 
And um, what can I say? Just very, very happy-go-lucky dogs. Um, these dogs just aim to please. They want to be with their people. This is the seventh installment I've done for YouTube. Please continue to follow, and if you have your eye on one of these little pups, please don't hesitate to contact me now. Thank you.